In this Lightboard session, we're going to talk about state persistent options for customer hosted runtimes. The first option is standalone or load balanced. Now, when you are installing the Mule runtimes in your infrastructure, it's a customer hosted Mule runtime. Now, there are two possibilities for that in clustered mode and non clustered mode. Let's talk about non clustered mode, and that is often called standalone mode. So, in a standalone mode, there is no sharing between the different Mule runtimes as far as state is concerned. So these are running on their own machine, generally speaking. And the options for storing state are using the object store and VM queues. So different types of state. One is in-flight state. The other one is key value pairs. Now, there are two options when you store things into either the object store or VM queues. You can have it as a persistent queue or a persistent object store or transient. So transient when you're in standalone mode. So let's talk about this being the machine. This is the mule runtime. And we've got, let's do object store. We've got the in-memory or transient object store. OK, and each Mule runtime has their own in-memory version, own values, own copy of everything. It doesn't actually swap any information between these different standalone Mule runtimes. OK, now the, the same on the persistent side of things. So the persistent side, we've got object store persistent. OK, and it is stored on disk in this case. OK, and those are the, the two options for object store. Now, no sharing, no swapping over of values. So if you hit one of the nodes, then it goes locally into that either in memory or on disk. Now, with VM queues, you've got a in-flight state type of mechanism. So same sort of deals. So these are your in-memory version, and these ones are persisted to disk. Again, no sharing. So publishing a message in on node 1 is not going to magically find its way to node 2. OK. All right, and the, the other terms that we have for this, you might hear it called load balanced or just a server group. Uh, it, as long as you're not hearing the term cluster, it's probably a, a various word that people are using to describe this configuration. So in memory, faster, persistent, slower, but reliable. So it'll survive a restart. But if you lose one of the machines, there is no sharing over to the other one. So that data would be lost. And that's the first option of your runtime plane configurations.